Oh, damn. Alright, well, here we go. Welcome, everybody, to Rogue Legacy. The day everybody was fearing. The first day of the Steam sales is today. And when I saw that Rogue Legacy was uh, discounted, I could not hold back anymore. So I ended up buying the full version. I really like the music in this area. It's quite nice. But yeah, I bought the full version of this, finally. I also bought Hotline Miami because I have no self-control, clearly. There is something wrong with me, but... Here we go. Drop ledges. It's good information. It's good stuff to know. down attack. I am playing this with my Xbox controller because it's, it's the easiest way to go about controlling a game like this. Never leave home without it, as they say. I don't even know why I'm breaking everything. I don't think it's really useful here. Hello, my liege. It is time to start my legacy. Oh, yeah. Totally gotta beat the shit out of this training dummy. Dost thou even hoist? Love it. <laughs> Alright. First run. Let's see how we can go about doing this. Let us have a look at the first journal entry of the game. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring him to bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say that hit that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Well, I got news for you, man. Prepare to be embarrassed. If you have seen my my trial run of this game, you would know that uh I'm not particularly good at it. Like so. I already got hit. And I'm in the first room. Come here. Stupid Doombus. But we will persevere. The first run is all about getting the gold. Break everything and get as much gold as you can so you can get those upgrades. Which isn't going to be fun with these things on me. There we go. Nope. Whoa, okay. I don't know how I got away with that, but I'm glad I did. No! Come here. Ass face. There we go. Uh, that's it. Nothing else in here, just a spiky floor of death and a bunch of dudes. I suppose that's fair enough. Alright, what's over here? Let's go up. Oh. Alright, it's a fairly sizable delay. But yes, definitely excited to get my hands on the full version of this, finally. 
it's only discounted 20%, but... I mean, it allowed me to get another game and... God, I have to take no damage? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my god. What the hell is this? Oh, screw you. Damn it. So close. That sucks. Oh well. Oh, hello, Bones. So many Doombuses. Alright, take it easy. Uh, let's go to the right. Hello? What do we have here? Journal entry number two. Although I'm the eldest child, I'm not my father's favorite. I've always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters. Back to the royal city where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass, but I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Sounds like a plan to me, man. Let's do it. I haven't been getting any health regen things from breakables, which makes me sad. You shoot stuff. And I don't like you for that. Some interesting slowdown right there. I want to check out this way first. Let's go down. Oh, yeah. That's one way to go about it. Can I grab? There we go. Alright, let's keep going right. Try to milk this for as long as I can. How did that not kill? Oh, you're level 13. Clearly, you mean business. Oh, a Squire Chestplate Blueprint. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. 340 gold so far. That's not too bad. Eyeball. Ooh, another blueprint. A blood chest plate, eh? I believe that's one of the vampiric things. You can use it to regen health for every enemy you hit. If I'm remembering correctly. Getting some slowdown here. This is my first time firing it up, and I have heard of other people experiencing slowdown with this game. I'll have to look into possible fixes and causes, but uh, that'll have to come later. Well, this room doesn't look nice. I want you there. Okay, now we're talking. A blood sword. Not doing too bad for the first run. Not too bad at all. Uh, I want that. There we go. I was a little nervous about falling into a spike pit or something. Oh, boss. Clearly it's suicide to even attempt it. 
I don't think anybody level zero has beat this boss, but if I'm wrong... Yeah, that's... that's... no. Hmm. I thought enemies don't reset. You do not hit me with your big ass sword swing. I kind of want to explore this way a little bit more. Right. Uh, more nice slowdown. Another teleporter. Cool. More health, also very cool. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Another teleporter, damn. Why so, uh... Why so many in such close proximity? Well, I guess they're near the entrances to other zones. Right, well, let's give it a shot. I am totally gonna die, but that's fine. 760 gold, that's not a bad haul. Not a bad haul indeed. Kidder. He's such a kidder. He's also the gatekeeper and he must die. Yeah, that's not good. Look at that, he's level 27. Yeah. That was inevitable. Each class has pros and cons. Make sure to change your playstyle accordingly. It's a lot of enemies killed. Alright, let's choose our first heir. Poor Sir Lee. He did good, though. He did damn good. So let's see our choices. Lady Winry, a mage. With a... Congenital insensitivity to pain. I don't know what that means. A knight. I do enjoy knights. Nearsighted. Everything far away is blurry. Hey, just like me. Endomorph. You're so heavy enemies can't knock you back. That seems very useful. Sir Fleming. A knight with dwarfism. And ambivalous. Two left hands can't cast spells properly. I do know that there are certain secret walls that you can only get into while you're a dwarf. Seems interesting though. Although I can't cast spells right. I wonder what that effect has. Let's go for Sir Fleming. Let's do it. Alright, let's get us a smithy. The blacksmiths can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Indeed. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. Armory. Wow. 75 points to put into health up. That is kind of insane. Let's put one. And upgrade our knight into a paladin. Promote your knights into paladins through rigorous chaining. Paladins have learned to, how to block blows from any direction. Sounds cool. I don't think I'll go for equip up just yet. Maybe. Uh, 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 one point. Just one. And you know what? We should unlock the enchantress. The Enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Find the runes to increase her repertoire of body-modifying talents. Her crystal ball is just for show. I'll keep that in mind. And I think I'll hold off on unlocking the Architect right now. I don't really need him. Oh my god, look how tiny I am. So what does it mean that I can't cast spells properly?
Oh, I think I get it. That's supposed to appear in front of you, instead it appears behind you. I see. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, definitely. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back my blueprints you find. Wow, I can't speak right now. What the hell? And I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. Oh, of course. So I can get the squire sword. Which adds plus 7 to damage. I could get the blood sword. And get vampirism. Actually, I can't because that costs 500. But it lowers my max health. 250 to unlock that. Health and mana. And that costs 150. More armor. That's That could come in handy, actually. More vampirism. Yeah, you definitely take a health hit if you choose to be a vampire. Which I suppose is fair enough. Extra magic. I don't really need magic. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, those are my options for the blacksmith, but let's talk to the enchantress. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. How the hell do they pull that off? They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I stuck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and I'll sell it back to you at a profit. You suck. I do have one, though. The sprint rune. Dash short distances. Oh, in the vault room. Rune. It's not a room, it's a rune. Which is essentially my double jump. I think I want it. And I want this, actually. Oh, but I can't have it. Alright. So I got my double jump, that's nice. I would like to see if I can unlock anything. 20 extra health is good. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Combat is going to be a little bit tricky. One must pay the toll. Give him all my money. Greedy asshole. You're a greedy asshole, Sharon. Is it Sharon or Sharon? I don't know. I'm only pronouncing it Sharon because that's the way it was pronounced in uh, Fallout 3. Your ghoul follower with the same name. But I could be mistaken. Don't... Okay. Yeah, that would have shot at me. Hello. Right. Are you a Doombus? No, you're not. Oh, that was a bad place to land. I'll need to keep my eyes peeled on the walls and floors for hidden stuff. Uh, let's go up. Come here. There. Nope. Oh my god. I don't want to be dying already. Defeat all enemies. That is not possible. Not with this character. Nope. Not with this character, and not with this... Not with these spells. That sucks.
Alright, then only one way to go from here. I do like how responsive the controls are. Very much responsive. You gotta love a good platformer that has really nice and tight controls. Super Meat Boy being another good example. And I believe the controls in Dustin Elysian Tale is also pretty pretty controllable. Very well done in that regard. No you don't. Little douche. Yeah, I thought so. Evil clown painting. Nope, that, yeah, that was my fault. Got a little overzealous there. I want to kill you, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to. Go on, then. Do one at a time. Damn it. I can't be trading hits. Oh. Take no damage. That is not possible. Once again, something else I can't do until uh, the future when I get more upgrades. That'll require multiple double jumps and the air dash. Step right up. Alright, what's here? Oh my god, I only have 6 HP. Let's read this. It's much safer than fighting enemies. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Sharon, or Charon, or is it Karen, has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it's fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There's no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Alright, very nice. Raking in that money. Yeah, no. Not yet. Now we'll go down. A night cape. Sounds pretty sweet. Still focus on gaining a lot of gold before I go fighting any bosses and whatnot. Uh... Okay, that's... I wasn't expecting that. You know what? Oh. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I accidentally hit the jump button instead of the attack button. Nicely done. The architect has a hefty fee for those who use his service. Indeed he does. Alright, screw this. Uh, Lady Henrietta the Barbarian. A walking tank. I like barbarians. Based on videos that I've seen and uh, the demo that I've played, I enjoy the barbarians. No peripheral vision. I have no idea what that means. It could be Lady Chun Li, the knave, with dementia. You are insane. And baldness. <laughs> I. Huh. I'm kind of curious as to what the dementia does. 
Lady Stephanie, another barbarian with no traits and size. You know, I'm choosing this simply because of the dementia. I want to know what it does. Right. I can upgrade my mage, but I don't know... Do I want to hold off on that right now? Magic damage. Actually, I should unlock him to get the, uh... The other skill trees here. The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of a castle? Lock it down! Just make sure you can afford his fees. So I can upgrade my barbarians to a barbarian king. Which presses... Which at the press of Y will cast an epic shout that knocks virtually everything away. I kinda like that. Also attack up is... Seats pretty nice. But I kind of do like the... I like that. I want it. I'll take it. Alright. I now have Barbarian Kings! The shout of the bears. They shout at things and they explode. Nice Skyrim reference there. What's this? Shinobi. You know, I've kind of I've heard of these guys. Apparently, they're pretty good. I'll have to give that an unlock next. Uh, right. Is there anything I could do? I can unlock the sword, which I will. There we go. All right, now I can do more damage. Went from 18 to 24. Sweet. Yes, take all 40 of my gold. I will not miss it. Right, four ways to go. Let's try down. Alright, very nice. Critical hit. I like that. Let's see what we have here. Oh my god. Any one of these could be a Doomvis. Or none of them. I'm surprised. Alright, cool. Where did you come from? I don't remember you. Oh, that's... Okay, I get it. <laughs> Is that what dementia does? It makes enemies appear that aren't really there? It certainly does drive the point home that you're insane. I'm really glad that didn't hit me. Hello. I didn't expect you to take three hits. I will anticipate it from now on, though. What have we? More delicious money. Right then. Continue rightwards. Getting chased by ghosts and pictures. I can probably clear that. Easy. Alright, nice. Oh my god, that was close. In fact, I think it looked like I actually hit the spikes. I don't know. I'll have to watch that back. That seemed like I should have gotten hit there. Nice one shot. That's what I like to see. Nice. 
Hmm. Alright, what's down here? That is a big room of no. Don't think I want to go wandering into the other zones just yet. Is there a way to go from here? In fact, how do I... I want to look at my map. How do I do that? There's my magic cards. Telling me all the things. Oh yeah, it says right there. Dementia. You see things that aren't there. I wonder if that's limited to just enemies. Oh, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to want to go back to the left. Back to the left in search of awesome new things. Like, namely, gold. Oh, God. Damn it. Oh god, okay. Let's take it easy now. Alright, you're not real. <laughs> no, I want that. Oh. That's simple. Simple. Now, why is that there? It's completely harmless. It also vanished. What the hell was that about? Alright, that eyeball means business. There we go. I can't get in there, though. That's too bad. Alright, what's here? 